hello guys welcome to back my channel today i am going to discuss about reading by reading we can improve and develop our language any language we can develop by reading book in this language so our intention we want to develop english language so we should to read book when we will read book regularly our improvement will be so fast and we will show a big change in our daily conversation i am not uh, offer you any kind of book just read whatever easy for you books and uh, newspaper story whatever easy for you where is your passion just read what is easy for you and another things when we want to by reading develop or learn any language we should to read in this language books loudly when we will read books loudly at this time we will find lot of benefits i mean our pronunciation will be correct and our speaking speed will be so high and we will find a correct or as per situation so easily we should to read book for developing any language because author any kind of author or newspaper is written a good language when we will read books or newspaper story so we will find a good language and good phrase line as a grammatically correct so we should to read book and my reading skill is not good for developing reading skill i want to uh, making video next 21 day i hope this channel will be being a big change in my life so let's give me reading something i want to read front of camera something <clears throat> emperor aurangzeb banned the playing of a musical instrument called kungi in the royal residence for it had a shrill unpleasant sound. Punge became the generic name for wooded noisemaker. Few had thought that it would one day be revived. A barber of a family of professional musicians who had accents to the royal place decided to improve the tonal quality of the Punge. He chose a pipe with a natural hollow steam that was longer and broader than the pungi and made seven holes on the body of the pile when he played on it closing and opening some of these holes soft and melodious sounds are produced produced he played the instrument before royalty and every one was impressed the instrument so different from the pungi had to be given a new name as the story goes since it was first played in the sh uh, shah's chambers and was played by a knight barber the instrument was named the shehnai the sound of the shehnai began to be considered auspicious and for this reason it is still played in temples and is an in the, in the temple so it is enough today and uh, next 20 day i will try to consistently making video about reading i hope by this my reading will be improvement and i will find a big and good result in journey of English language.
If uh, I hope you like my method, so comment and share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching video.